Hi, good morning and welcome to the day on oh, bloody hell. Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So the Greeks voted no um, to a proposal that was actually not really still on the table, but incidentally it has caused a lot of confusion and um, things aren't really that clear as to what's going to happen next. So um, there's not been an absolute crazy crash in the markets, but what you're seeing is the UK 100 is down about 1.5%, 1, 1 Germany 30 is down about 25 uh, obviously, big gaps here on the US 30, but it's then since moved into uh, moved, moved higher. Obviously, not in positive territory relate, um, relative to its closing point right here. Um, Euro opened up quite a lot lower, but then has since kind of staged a little bit of a recovery. Now, on Tuesday, you've got a lot of the Eurozone um, partners meeting to discuss what's going to be next for Greece. And I think until we get that sorted out, there's going to be a lot of confusion, uh, a lot of guys trying to get, get a handle of what's going to happen next. And you couple that to the fact there's absolute turmoil again in China, um, there's a lot of uncertainty out there. But um, for those of you that are quite brave out there, there's obviously good opportunities as well. So where we are with the US therapy gap, much lower. We're in positive territory from uh, from that open point, and we're just slightly above 17,561. The technicals are, to be honest, a little bit redundant in um, situation when the fundamentals are taking control the way that they are just now. And uh, it it should be said that when you get big big moves like this, if we continue to see further growth towards the end of the session, um, then that would be relatively encouraging. That. Um, the Eurozone partners have got a, a good way uh, to resolve this issue. Otherwise, if we start to see this coming off again later on towards the end of the session, back then towards where it opened, um, then things might be a little bit more dicey tomorrow. So moving on to the UK 100, uh, <clears throat> not quite as strong as the US 30, unfortunately, so it opened up much lower, went higher, and has now just been pulled right back down again, um, just as the UK stock markets opened, uh, led by U UK financials, uh, unsurprising. And now UK doesn't have a, as big an exposure to Greece as say what Germany does, uh, but we do have a little bit of exposure, especially some of our banks. But France and Germany, um, those indices are probably down the most today in fact. So France is down 2, Germany 30 is down 2.3, um, and, and I think the UK 100 is down about 1.2. Um, but yeah, that's not a great start. So it's looking like 64.15 could be the next potential support level uh, should that pressure remain in play. Then looking at Japan to five gap lower, nowhere near as volatile as the as, as the other markets. 20,087 uh, is a potential support. And that also coincides with that 55 period SMA. So we've been seeing a lot of yen buying, uh, a safe haven buying. Uh, you couple that together with the fact as well. As you see, obviously, a gap, gap lower, but it's gone back up again. But there had been yen, yen buying. And people calling into question if the US will still uh, increase rates twice this year, starting in September and maybe going for December with all this turmoil. I think we just need to wait and see what happens over the next week or two with Greece and the impact that would have on the global financial markets, depending on what they do. Um, as in, is that Greece going to be out of the Eurozone? They're still a Eurozone partner, you know, we do have to show some solidarity, but they're not really doing a lot to help the creditors as well, because ultimately they need to, they need to borrow more money to pay for their pensions, and they're borrowing money, they're asking for money from Germany to pay for group pensions with no additional uh, major conditions there about reform, about how they're going to restructure their country and uh, that's a big ask so we'll have to see what happens here but we got we, we obviously opened down here so it's a quite a big gap down at 121.87 which was the support level and we since then rallied up that little bit higher to be in the middle of the range so moving on to crude oil with texas it's really come off the last couple of sessions people really worried that this latest financial crisis is going to dampen demand and obviously all that all, the, all those issues that's happening with china right now that's really weighing uh, especially when you have 30 percent drops in that market across there lots of unprecedented uh, government intervention in the chinese stock markets um, over the weekend has failed to stem the tide now the shanghai index actually opened seven percent higher this morning but has pretty much is looking to head into their local close time at only a fraction of a percent up. So the, the Chinese stock markets were up 7% and now they've finished just pretty much bang on, uh, just a little bit higher. And that's really hurting West Texas as well. So um, you've seen the Greece crisis and the impact of China really hitting crude oil West Texas hard. Uh, now trading around about 54.85 and finally breaking out of that range. 
So then moving on to gold, uh, gold surprisingly is not getting a huge amount of love considering uh, you would have thought interest rates were in doubt and all this turmoil and safe haven and uh, properties of gold would really give it a little bit more love. It is really not doing that great. So I'm um, not quite sure exactly why gold is not benefiting so much from this whole um, whole show. Um, but open higher, so gapped higher and then it's moved right back down again. So 11.37 would be the longer term potential support uh, and 11.86 is going to be the potential resistance but it looks to be the downwards pressure still very much in play there just now. Moving on to Euro dollar, um, Euro dollar again gap lower, um, but I tried to move back up again. Uh, it's actually not, not so bad, I thought it would have been hurt a lot more. So market really trying to contain this squeeze situation by the looks of things. Very surprising. Normally when there's blood in the water people just go crazy, but um, the market seemed to be reacting uh, quite modestly to be honest. So one spot 11 is still the longer term potential resistance. We're not a million miles away from there right now, only 50 points. Um, the longer term potential support, one spot 0786 should uh, a sell off there continue. And finishing up with GBP USD, wrong side of one spot 56 at the moment. Uh, if we drift lower, you might coincide with that 55 period SMA with one spot 54, 24 being long term potential support, with one spot 56 being the new potential resistance. So as I said, Tuesday is going to bring you the meeting of the Eurozone partners to talk about Greece. Uh, we've got US PMI data due today at 3 p.m. UK time. And then Tuesday, early in the morning, you've got uh, Germany, German industrial production. Wednesday, God, there's not really a huge amount going on. Um, we've probably got the 4th of July uh, weekend over in, in, in the U US. And then on Wednesday, you've got your crude oil inventories. And then Thursday, there's actually very data light, but it's all about Greece at the moment. You need to keep an eye on that situation. Um, and we'll give you updates within Insights uh, throughout the session if anything new comes out. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.